All right, welcome back to the unofficial guide to vMix. In this video, we're going to be looking at data sources, one of my favorite features inside of vMix. Let's get into it. So data sources essentially allow you to bring data into vMix and populate your titles with that data. So you can bring in RSS feeds, you can bring in information from Google Sheets, you can bring in data from XML and JSON, and we're going to look at all of that, and then how to map it into a title to display the most up-to-date information in your vMix production. Let's do it. Now, I'm going to show, share a case study in the online Udemy course as well that shows this off in a little more detail. But what we're going to click, we're going to click the hamburger menu in the bottom right, and then we're going to click data sources. And I've got two sources of data coming in right now. I have a Google Sheet that is uh, populated via a, a form, so a Google form. And then I have an RSS feed that's bringing in information from CNN. Now, quickly, uh, I just went on the internet and I looked around for different RSS feeds. So let's say RSS feed weather. And literally, you can find an RSS feed from weather.gov and you can locate it and you can use it. It's that easy. In fact, let's say we'll look at, just for the heck of it, let's say weather forecast. Oh, weather.gov has got a bad link there. Let's do hurricanes. And so literally, you can click that right there. That's an XML file right there. And we can bring that information into vMix. So here's an XML file, boom, and it will bring that information in. Now it takes a second, so sometimes it has to go out and find that information, but it will bring it in eventually. This is the RSS feed and this is the Google Sheet. So we've got this data coming in and the RSS feed is, this is the one I'd like to look at first. Um, and what we can do is there's tables of information. So the selected table is the data that we can bring in to vMix. So we can have it loop through data because you can see there's a lot of data here. So we can have it automatically every five seconds loop through the data, meaning the information is going to update into our titles based on this loop. And I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go into vMix here and create a title that we can bring this data into. So let's find a title that we want to work with. Um, it's going to be a lot of data. It's a lot of information because it's a news source. But let's just keep it simple. We'll just add this, um, this blue title here. But you know what? I'm not going to use this. I'm going to turn the playlist off, by the way. I'm just going to add a title that doesn't have an, any animations or anything because we don't really need a bunch of animations uh, for this. We're just going to use regular blue title, no animations. And when we go into here, we see this data source button. So for the headline, instead of actually putting something in there, we can choose information from our RSS feed. And you can see here that we can choose a column. There's a couple different columns. There's a whole description, which is a lot of information. And then there's a title. Let's grab the title and say okay and that information goes right in so it's looping it's a little more information than we could fit in there so let's zoom it out a little bit but you can see here that that information is going to pop right in now the description again probably is going to be a lot of information but let's choose our rss feed in our table and let's choose the description. It's a long, long description, but uh, it comes in. And this maybe isn't the best example, but it is showing how it works. So we have the ability to choose exactly the data that we want to show or have it automatically loop. So that's how that works. You can see as we're going through there, it changes. Now, another great example, one that I really like, is to have a Google form that is 
out on the internet and you can collect data from your viewers and then map that to a vMix call or a vMix title. You can also choose, so Google Sheets, JSON, RSS, a text file, and XML. Looks like our gov.xml one didn't pull in properly. But this is an example of how to use data sources. So you bring in the data, you map it to a title, and you've got all these great options for doing it. Yes, it's fairly advanced, but I think it's something that you guys will learn to use. I have a great case study in the next video that shows you how we had a 24 seven live stream going out for a couple months, showing the voting of a specific form that we were bringing the form information into Google Sheets. And I show that as well to give you a really advanced look at how you might be able to use vMix data sources to populate the titles inside of vMix that are being either live streamed or recorded into your production to give your production the most up-to-date information possible from data sources around the world. A little advanced, but hey, you made it this far in this course. Don't forget to uh, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. All right, let's get on to our next video.